Throughout history, women have walked, marched, and stood up for their rights. And since the movement began, progress has been made and many battles have been won, while women have dreamed, worked, and asked. But we still have to ask for more. One of the biggest mistakes uh, that I made, and a mistake that I kept making until I really realized this, is I didn't ask for what I wanted. I got this offer from CNBC Asia, so I was just so happy that she wanted to hire me and give me my first break in television that I accepted the first salary offer. I accepted her first offer. She said, will X be good? And without hesitation, I said, great, fine. And I did that because I didn't want to jeopardize the offer. I was so scared that that offer could be rescinded or that something would happen and I wouldn't get that big break. It wasn't until two years later when I left CNBC and came to Bloomberg that I sat down for, for drinks with her. And she said, you know, one of the things, Betty, that has always stayed with me in the few years you've worked for me is that you never counter offered. And she said, don't do that again because I was ready to give you a higher salary. I just gave you what I wanted to start off with because I knew you would come back. She said, I thought you knew you would come back with a higher offer and we would meet in the middle, but you didn't. Don't do that again. You need to ask for what you're worth. When your employer offers you something and you don't go back and ask for more, in essence, you're almost telling them that you're pretty much worth their first offer. So you want your employer to think more highly of you, you want to think more highly of yourself. So the way I think about it is it's my responsibility to remind them of what a treasure they're getting by asking for more money. So if you think of it that way, then it's not that you're demanding, it's that you're reminding them what you're worth. I'm one of those people I always feel like, well, I'll be rewarded when, you know, I deserve to be rewarded. But that said, I do think it's really important for women to know their worth and to really um, push yourself to always, um, I, and I'm terrible at this too, so I'm like the last person who should be saying this, but I'm really bad at playing politics. And it's not about playing politics necessarily. I think it's about just making sure that people know what you've done and, and that, you know, reminding them of your accomplishments. Because I think so often we like to just fly under the radar a little bit and as women, and I think we need to be able to toot our own horns. I mean, guys don't seem to have as much of an issue with it. They seem to certainly give themselves pats on the back. Um, I think it's, it's, for whatever reason, it's just a harder thing for us. We have enough inequalities as it is. As women, women of color, we already have enough injustices and inequalities and numerous opportunities to be forced to prove ourselves. And receiving equal pay for our work our time and our contributions is the least that we deserve. We should be able to, as women, support our families equally as men. The recent Accenture survey said that for the first time women at least are asking for raises at rates equal to men. And so at least asking is the beginning of the negotiation. It isn't sort of the end of it, but it is a beginning. You know, we know that we need to do more to ensure that women are equally valuing ourselves. Um, and we need to change the social norms and cultures within employers so that women are equally valued. You know, we need to do both of those together. Um, but part of getting there is highlighting really where the gaps still exist, and certainly in this country, and also likely in other countries as well, um, this is a big one. I think this is our moment, and I think your generation is the generation that changes this. So think about what you would do if you weren't afraid. Think about leading, because when you lead, you get to change things. And I am really excited to see the kind of world that this amazing group of women can build. Go ahead, ask for more. Ask for more. More, please. Please, sir, may I have some more?